Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. If you're going through my um, video playlist, you'll have come across the rows and columns triple and there's absolutely no difference between that and the swordfish, but just for completeness sake, I'm including it here again under the title Swordfish. In this tutorial, we're looking at rows and columns where there is between the combination of the three rows or columns, we have three and only three or less occurrences of the possible. Now, so it's either going to be our bases are either going to be rows or our bases are going to be columns. Now, in this particular example, the bases are rows. So if we look here at row A, we have three occurrences of our potential candidate nine. And we're looking for other rows that will have three or less candidates of nine in the same columns. So coming down, here we have another candidate in column three. Its equivalent is not in four, but it is in eight. So that's, we now have two rows taken care of. We need a third row with three or less of these candidates and if we come down that won't do this one will because it has three and four so they are now our three bases row j row b and row a and just as in previous examples if we're using a base as being a row then we're going to be deleting in the columns Okay, down to the nitty gritty of how this actually works and bear with me now for a minute. So we can see here that our bases are rows. Well, now there's three columns involved and the columns are column three, four and eight. If you look at the first one, row A, there's going to be nine either in three, four or eight, but it's going to be in one of those three. And then if we look at row C, we now only have at most two options because we've already taken one of those options for row A. And then when we come down to the last one, we've already taken two of our three options. So there will only be one option left for row J. So I'm going to start at the bottom and we'll pick one at random, but I'm going to pick the left one. Suppose in row J we decide it's going to be here. When we come up then to row C, we've already taken that one. So there's only one left, which is this one. And then when we come up here, the only one left will be the middle. Now that's just one possibility, but whatever way it works, there will be in column three, column four, and column eight, a nine in one of those three rows. And because of that, it means that we can get rid of all other nines in those columns, like I'm showing you there. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Now, if our bases are rows, we'll be getting rid of columns. If our bases are columns, we'll be getting rid of rows. And that's it in a nutshell. Okay, it's very powerful. If you happen to come across it, very hard to find. And that's it. And come back to me now tomorrow for my next tutorial. Cheerio.